Hi, my name is Joe Hall with Cointelegraph. I'm here today with Brad from XRP. How are you doing today, Brad? Very good. And we've just come off your very interesting talk um, this morning, part of the Filecoin Foundation, and you brought up some really interesting points. The first one was regarding um, that crypto is no longer a bad word in Davos. What we like to hear, right? Yeah, for um, sure. What's it going to take for crypto to be the word in Davos? Well, I think the trend line is positive. As I said, you know, three or four years ago, I remember I was just arriving and my time zones were all messed up. And somebody said to me, you know, crypto, they were asserting that crypto still is a bad word in Davos. And I, you know, I think we've come a long way as evidenced by the fact that, you know, just the things like Filecoin Foundation, I mean, just the presence of crypto here in Davos is dramatically different. You know, on stage now we have the FTX uh, president, you know, the number of speakers here from crypto, I think, as as I think leaders across the world learn how these technologies can actually benefit their constituents, benefit their economies, they're going to use them because they actually, there are real benefits. And so I think we're seeing that happen every day. And uh, you know, we'll, uh, two years from now, I think it'll be even more positive. Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, we're here on the backdrop of, you know, N uh, there's NFTs and crypto here, just in front of as well, looking down onto the WEF. Um, you mentioned something really interesting regarding NFTs and there being a real, real use case with carbon credits. Could you perhaps expand on that point today? So the, the well, I have been a little bit critical. NFTs, I think uh, back in December I was interviewed and I, I, I said that they were underhyped, despite okay. the fact that there's obviously a lot of hype in certain parts of the NFT market. Absolutely. I think the tokenization of various assets is underhyped. And so okay. one of the examples I talked about on stage with the CNBC team was this idea around carbon credits. And so the carbon credit marketplaces have been uh, challenged because of, frankly, fraudulent carbon credits and people trading what actually aren't carbon credit offsets. And the ability to have the traceability, uh, the ability to have an open, you know, visible to anyone uh, trading is, I think, very important, can really, I think, revolutionize how carbon credit marketplaces and the efficacy of carbon credit marketplaces. Okay. Ripple just announced last week our commitment to invest $100 million in that segment and uh, a few other announcements coming in that regard. But we're excited to use the XRP Ledger for that purpose because of its scalability and low cost. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, regarding that speculation and this, this hype that often comes up in crypto, we're now in this sort of crypto winter and against the backdrop of perhaps a global recession. You know, Bitcoin's around 30K mark, I think, at the right, time right of recording. That. Yeah, and you mentioned again that uh, there should be some real use cases and real u utility in 2022. Um, would you be able to share with us what those are in your, in your eyes? Well, I mean, what Ripple has been focused on for years is really the real use case of cross-border payments and that there's a lot of friction and cost associated with moving money across borders. And it's usually quite slow, quite expensive, and frankly, very error prone. Yeah. So we use XRP for that purpose and that has driven you know billions and billions of dollars of transactions through XRP using that as a very efficient, low cost bridge. Mm -hmm. But I do think, you know, I don't think we're living in a single chain world. You know, I, I've spoken critically about kind of tribal in crypto and I think it's a multi-chain world there are gonna be a lot of different utility use cases ripple just use it focused you know primarily on that obviously this new initiative we've announced around the carbon credit marketplace uh, but I think there's gonna be a myriad of different chains focused on different use cases ripple is gonna to continue to focus on enterprise use cases uh, but there's a lot of consumer use cases I think are interesting certainly Filecoin is one that has been around for a while and uh, I don't know what kind of traction they've had but it, I think a compelling use case Okay, very good. Anything else you'd like to disclose today? I know your time is very precious at a conference oh, like this. Uh, it's, it's great to be here and very nice to meet you, Joe. Thank you. Pleasure as well, guys. Yep. Thank you very much. That was Joe Hall with a Cointelegraph interview.